Colette Bergogna's lifelong love of physical activity has led to her being one of Canada's most decorated Paralympians. Bergogna became the first Canadian to compete in both the Summer and Winter Paralympics, making her debut in each five months apart in 1992. That was merely the beginning of a career that saw Bergogna compete in an incredible 10 Paralympic Games, three summer, seven winter. During her storied career, she won 10 Paralympic medals, three silver medals, and seven bronze, while also being Canada's flag bearer twice during the closing ceremonies. Growing up in Porcupine Plain, Bergogna competed nationally as a cross-country runner and participated in numerous other sports. Her life changed forever after a car accident left her paralyzed shortly before her high school graduation. She was undaunted in her plans to study physical education at the University of Saskatchewan and successfully became the first wheelchair user to earn a physical education degree at the University of Saskatchewan. That was, you know, a bump in, 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 the, in my life, but I would say it was more of a bump than anything because, you know, once you learn the changes that you have to make and, and keep making, um, you know, you, you, you obviously can do more than, than just live. You can survive and you can thrive. So um, I was very fortunate to have people that helped me thrive along the way. Her love for physical activity and competition never dimmed. She stayed active and became a world-class wheelchair track athlete. She made her multi-sport games debut at the 1990 Commonwealth Games in New Zealand, winning a gold medal in the 800-meter wheelchair race, which was a demonstration sport at the time. As strong as she was on the track, it was outside on a sit-ski, where she truly felt at home. Once I tried skiing, I was like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely what I've been missing in winter. and. Um, you know, as an able-bodied athlete, we, we were outside doing running and different things like that. But as a wheelchair athlete, we're going around the field house, you know, round and round and round. And um, I, I loved winter. And I still love, I, I would say it's my favorite season. There's no mosquitoes. <laughs> and when you can ski outside, uh, it's absolute freedom. She made her winter Paralympic debut in Albertville, France in 1992, not long after first getting a chance to even try a sit ski. It was really interesting for me. I thought it was, was a, a pretty amazing experience of athletes coming together from all over the world. It's like, wow, this is so cool. And I get to be here and be part of this. And yeah, it was, it was a really amazing experience. She would go to seven straight Paralympic Winter Games, claiming six medals along the way, culminating with a trip to Sochi in 2014. Bergogna felt a shift in the Paralympic Games starting with Nagano in 1998. She won her first two silver medals, and with sold-out venues and greater support, she felt it a pivotal time for the Paralympic movement. That support continued to grow, particularly in advance of the 2010 Vancouver Paralympic Games for the Canadian athletes. Going into that and going into 2010 with with um, with more support than ever, really, like it, it uh, I think the support, support just started to snowball after 98. And, you know, the equality and the inclusiveness has increased and continues to increase. And that is just absolutely phenomenal for the athletes that are competing today. I think that's great. Bergoni was 48 at the Vancouver Games, but she had put a lot on the line. She took time off from work to fully dedicate herself to training and was focused on reaching the podium. Her hard work was rewarded. She won Canada's first Paralympic medal on home soil, a silver in the Para Nordic Sitski 10K race before winning a bronze in the 5K. At the end of the Vancouver Games, she also received the Wang Young Dai Achievement Award, which is awarded each games to a male and female athlete who best exemplifies the spirit of the games, ones who prioritize the promotion of the Paralympic movement above personal recognition. And then to get uh, the pure gold medal from the Dr. Wang Young Dai Achievement Award, that, that was pretty special from a, a woman that has given so much to the Paralympic movement and trying to highlight, um, you know, what athletes go through in, in, in getting to the games and 
um, and in really trying to help others as well along the way to get uh, to realize that the Paralympic movement, you know, could involve a lot of athletes um, if everybody, you know, really took up the the challenge. So um, that 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 pure gold medal was was pretty meaningful as well. So it was pretty big highlight as well at the games. Bergonia has certainly taken up the challenge in promoting the Paralympic movement. She coaches cross-country skiing to para-athletes and is the para-skiing development coordinator for SAS Ski Skiing for Disabled. She continues to advocate for healthy living and the value of physical activity for everyone. My love of sport transcended, you know, that little bump in the road and, and allowed me to grow, um, you know, as a teacher and as a as an athlete. Installed in the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame on September 24th, 2022, Colette Bergonia.